know, you get the Pope trying to dole out sainthood every two right. or three months when the Pope has no authority to make saints. The Pope has to become a saint himself through salvation and the cleansing blood of Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to uh, look at what all of this is all about here so we can see just how it's playing out and we can see just how close we are to the end and the coming of the kingdom of God. In Romans chapter 1 verse 17, God actually shows the degenerating steps that takes place in the society as mankind falls from grace and begins to seek after this uh, this covenant with these disembodied evil spirits we call demons uh, but we've already told you that they're actually Nephilim or the offspring of fallen angels and women I know you don't hear that in church it's in your Bible mm -hmm. forget what they tell you in church read your Bible so that's what the answer is Romans chapter 1 verse 17 it says He says, the, the wrath of God, well, let's go to 70, for in the, for in the gospel a, right, a, a, a righteousness from God is revealed, a righteousness that is by faith from first to last, just as it is written, the righteous will live by faith. So he says, in the gospel, the righteousness of God is revealed from faith to faith. You know, you believe a little, as you get to know him better, you believe him more. And God's righteousness is revealed as you get to know him. It's an intimate relationship, just like the one that corresponds with you and your wife. As you get to know her better, you trust her more, you know her better, you get a reading on her mind, her likes, her dislikes. And you, God does not change and transform uh, into us. We transform and change into him. So we should be taking on the character of God that the Bible calls the fruit of the Spirit. Love, joy, peace, long-suffering, goodness, gentleness, gentleness, meekness, temperance, and faith should come upon us as we actually interact with God and it changes our character. Remember, the middle of the road. No extremes. Mm -hmm. You walk down the middle of the road and God will transform you and change you. Says the wrath of God is being revealed from heaven against all the godlessness and wickedness of men who suppress the truth by their wickedness. Just go to any church Sunday morning and look in the pool pit and you'll find a suppressor of the truth who is suppressing truth because of their own wickedness. They have a they have a, a, a an ulterior motive. They're trying to make sure their Baptist church is growing and impressing the Baptist headquarters. Or they they got a girl in the front row that they're dating, and they don't want you to know it, so they don't you know they kind of try to suppress truth because of their wickedness. Since what may be known about God is plain to them, because God has made it plain to them. For since the creation of the world, God's invisible qualities, his eternal power and divine nature have been clearly seen, being understood from what has been made, so that men are without excuse. For all they, though they knew God, they neither glorified him as God, nor gave thanks to him, but their thinking being, became futile, and their foolish hearts were darkened. Although they claimed to be wise, they became fools and exchanged the glory of the immortal God for images made to look like mortal man and birds and animals and reptiles. So you get Barney entertaining your kids on TV, a dinosaur. You get the 12 signs of the zodiac with Leo the lion and, and, uh, and uh, uh, Scorpio the scorpion and all, see the, the day you read your zodiac every day mm -hmm. to lead and guide you like the Holy Spirit should inspire you now your zodiac now leads you and guides you right. you get all these animalistic creatures on TV that are now talking right. and uh, all this stuff is going on because the glory of God has been changed and the, the likeness of birds and animals and mortal man has taken over God's position so right. now Barack Obama is the Messiah Therefore, God gave them over. Now, for this displacement of God by these other things, which is basically idolatry, idolizing something above God, God gave them over in the sinful desires of their hearts to sexual impurity. For the, for the degrading of their bodies with one another, they exchanged the truth of God for a lie and worshipped and served created things rather than the Creator who was praised forever. Amen. So, Sexual depravity is a sign of idolatry. What happens? Oral sex, anal sex, all the depraved desires of man been played out through these, these, this idolatry that's taking place. 
And what's happening is you're getting the first sequence of the absorption of the fallen beings we've described. You into your psyche and into your soul. Because your appetites begin to pervert as they come into you. Mm -hmm. The deeper they get into you, the more you pervert inside. Right. Because yes. of this, God gave them over to shameful lust. Even their women exchanged natural relations for unnatural ones. In the same way, the men also abandoned natural relations with women and were and were inflamed with lust one for another. Men committed indecent acts with the other men and received in themselves the penalty of their perversion. The even, penalty of their perversion. Even, even the women. Even the women. Even the women. Ellen DeGeneres, Nancy Lohan, lesbians everywhere. My son tells me the high schools are inundated with lesbian girls holding hands and kissing in the hallways and kissing each other in the mouth full in the lunch rooms. And you know now they're performing oral sexually with each other and, and trying to sit through a geometry class with your mind eaten away mm -hmm. by this perversion. The hip hop culture is nothing more than a, a, a packs of roaming, wandering homosexual guys. Mm -hmm. That's all they are. Pants pulled down to their knees with their underwear hanging out the back. No guy in his right mind will be seen walking around with his underwear hanging out in front of another guy. If these guys are actually perverts. They're homosexual by nature. They wear earrings. They're covered with tattoos. They stand in the mirror all day adjusting their hats and fixing up their earrings and, and polishing up and shining up and, and, and just, just girly men, as uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger would say. That's what's happening. Right. What's happening? More of, a, more of an absorption of these fallen beings into the very psyche and the soul and desires of man as they take a man over. And I think three primary doorways for this are music, um, oh, no, music. Got, you know, uh, intoxication, mind altering, whether it be drinking, drugs, and, and then sex. And yeah. the, the, what we come to know is sex, drugs, and rock and roll. Yeah. But it's not just rock and roll, yeah. hip hop, jazz, music. That's, those are the three, three main doorways for this because music there, there's something about music that gets us into a state of mind. When you add something intoxicating, something mind-altering like, like drinking or drugs, then more, more of a door, it's like the door just opens up wider and wider and then demons can flood and all these spirits that, that use these doorways to access our psyche come in. And then when you get into sex, into illicit sex, fornication of any kind, if it's not under the, the auspices of wedlock as ordained by God, then it's inordinate, and that, that, that brings physical contact into the thing. And then you're talking about just transferring spirits just by the droves because of whoever you had sex with, the people that they've had sex with. This is, this is where this gets into just, it's just a, a hodgepodge a man. Of, of, of demons that you enter into. And, and ask, ask, ask yourself this question. When you begin to have illicit sex outside of wedlock, did you stay the same and just stay flatlined and never progress deeper into the sexual activity? Right. No, you got progressively worse because more spiritual beings came in that manipulated your mind to make mm -hmm. you do more things. And the other thing is, the more you do, the less the thing that you did previously will satisfy you. Right. That's so you go like drugs too. That's go, the same thing you go deeper. Drugs. You go deeper. You go deeper in the insatiability. The same old stuff won't satisfy you. So now you got to you know, get a whip and chains and handcuff folks to bed. Another person. Let's do a threesome. All this stuff. Your mind is being expanded and opened up to this world of demonic filth and degradation and perversion because you're allowing more of these beings in that manipulate your mind. See, they, the spirit world works like this. They don't come in and tell you I'm the devil or right. baby. They right. operate in the area of nuances. Little, little desires, little thought patterns, f fleeting thoughts are where the demons rule. It feels good. Feel, feeling good and, and trying something new. A lot of you women listening to us right now, you've got these sexual toys, these vibrators and these dildos and things. And what you're doing, you're making love to yourself. That's you're right. going to end up making, wanting to make love to that which is like yourself. It's a doorway to lesbianism. Mm -hmm. Ask God to take those desires off of you. Throw that junk away out of your, get it out of your house and ask God to cleanse your mind from this sexual lust and filth that's taking you over. Mm -hmm. This stuff is not innocent. 
is not normal. See, the devil will tell you, well, you, well you're, you're a man and you're a woman. you got sexual desires. God knows you have them. You have to satisfy yourself somehow. Mm -hmm. So you got yourself a little sexual toy, but that's just to get this thing off of you. And you sit in church on Sunday morning singing in the, in, the, in the choir as a sexual deviant, not understanding that you've been taken over by a spirit that's actually made you cut a covenant of peace with it so that it can be satisfied by your own lust feeding it. 